of all, on behalf of Union de Barrio, Ambassador Pablo Freire, I want to welcome you to this community space. Um, this is a community space, uh, Centro Cultural Francisco Villa. I want, to, I want to thank you guys one more time, and then I want to get straight into our program. We walk all the way to the best, just to only know there is no option for us. Can you believe that? We were shut out of the decision to close down the school in the first place. Um, but students, teachers, and parents uh, never had a say in it. What we did is uh, we had a sit-in on uh, Monday. And then uh, just today we uh, marched from our school, which is on uh, 27th to Long Beach, all the way to Figueroa and 3rd Street in order to the Green Dot Home Office in order to speak with the CEO of uh, Green Dot. I give a speech to the uh, CEO of Green Dot and uh, this is what I wrote. I feel like we, stu we as students were marginalized because we are the ones most impacted by this decision and yet we're the ones with no voice, no input in it all. Green Dot has a business model, and because of this, students at Animal Justice were dehumanized. All that we stood for to Green Dot were money signs, products to be made profit of. As soon as we failed to rake in enough money for Green Dot to profit and prosper, we were pushed aside, stored away like old products at a supermarket. The uh, CEO of Green Dot just uh, kept uh, going around the problem, but not actually dealing with the actual problem. We walked back from the office to the school. Uh, we walked approximately six miles all together. So if we don't look at the larger struggle, then the reality is that we'll constantly be, be lost into our own problems here. All right, um, do we have another speaker from Justice coming up? They say that everything's mostly about money, that they do not see it as more of an object or product. And that's, that's a lie. They do. Yeah. And you know, thinking about what's going on, you know, right here in the hood, we have to, we, we, we know when they treat us like commodities, when they treat us like we're disposable, when they treat us like that, we know what they are. And they're nothing more than about poverty pimps. What's a poverty pimp? Somebody who gets rich off the poverty of others. 